everyone. We're live. All right, so you guys been working with your kiddos. I've been being pet up here, and so Elizabeth has asked me just to just see what we have going on and see if there's any messages, and um, I'll just start feeling in. So the way that I work, of course, I work with Archangel Michael. Um, I just ask him to guide me wherever he wants to go. I know a few of you that I don't really know anything about any of you, so um, the way that I work is I want you to ask your kids to stand behind you. I'll feel into your energy and the energy around you and just tell you what I'm picking up on. Are they male, female, personality, temperament, what do they look like? Once we know for sure who's with you, because it could be someone else, and I will ask Archangel Michael to keep the kids separate. Sometimes I try and come through the same person. Um, at that point, I ask for a name. The reason that I ask for a name is there's energy in a name. It just helps me hear them better instead of working through so many uh, pictures in my mind. So I just ask them what they want to say. Um, the other thing that I tell people is that mediumship is about healing. So if tears come up, I don't know if there's tissue around, um, but by all means, um, let, let those tears out. So, all right, so I'm just gonna listen and see where I'm drawn to. who you are, but you need to go. <laughs> I don't work this way, I'll find you. So I have a much like tall um, male with dark hair, young adult with dark hair. Uh, he must be like 6'2 or 6'3 because he's standing directly behind me. I don't know who he belongs to yet, so hold on. I just need to um, acknowledge him. I need him playing with my hair, so. I think that um, it is your kiddo. I think it's Garrett. How tall is Garrett? Is he pretty tall? No, he's not that tall. No? No. Oh, he has like the curly, he has like curly hair. Hmm, all right. Well, I just need to start with you because I know that Garrett hugged me uh, when I walked in. So, okay. hold on. Okay, of course I don't know. So he's picking you up, like he's like almost like he's tossing you in the air. He's picking you up, and it feels like I don't know, like a great big celebration. So I don't know what that is. So hold on, but he's like <sighs> extremely excited. Hold on. Okay. So he has you by the hand. Of course, I don't know what it is. He has you by the hand. He's like running forward with you. Did you make a new decision? Is there something that you're like, okay, I'm finally doing this, and you're like running towards something? You're not moving, are you? Not right now. Okay. Oh, I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> well, my youngest one is going to be moving, and Scott thinks we're going to be following. Okay. Because I have to be where the grandchildren are. Okay. Is that? Mm, is there going to be a place there and a place here? I say yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. For now. Yeah. I For mean, now. it's not anytime, anytime soon. It's it's like in another year, probably. Yeah. Absolutely. Is this like East Coast? In North Carolina. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, and you'll get there, and eventually you let go of being here. You'll move into something like new, even with helping parents heal there. Um, so sorry, she's <laughs> she's gonna be moving on. Um, You'll go down in North for a while though. But he's like broadening your horizons, needing to broaden your horizons. I don't know if you've just been kind of in a box for too long, but it's like, it's time. You have these big, beautiful wings, mom. You're like, you gotta fly. You really, like, I wanna like kick you out <laughs> of the box and get you moving forward. Is there a baby girl? Oh God, I said, <laughs> please don't bring up a baby again. I. I don't know anything about this. I'm just praying. Okay. Because you're the third person who has said this. I... Oh, okay, hold on. It wouldn't be a good thing. <laughs> you don't think it would be a good thing, but from a, from a human perspective, but I feel like this baby girl like shifts things in a big way, but she's with you a lot, and I feel like she like crawls around your shoulder. It sounds weird, but I see her like, around your shoulders a lot. She's somebody that you know from prior lifetimes. Like she's a soul that you incarnate with a lot and you've been waiting for her to show up. Mm -hmm. 
She is a, a fierce little bottom kicker, um, is what she is. And it's just like coming in to really shift things. Yeah, for sure. Two. I'll give you two years. I don't know if that means, but I'll give two years. Okay. Okay. Take okay. <laughs> so a message for me in two years. You're like, Christine, oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, so he's, he's just saying, um, like, the clouds really have parted. There really is sunshine. But I feel like I still want you to get moving forward more. So I don't know what you're like dragging your feet to do. I just feel like, depressed many of you. Okay. And, and, and I love staying home. I, uh -huh. That's what I like to do. Yeah, you're going to get out of the house. I know. I have so much I have to do. I just have been putting everything off. Yeah, so. well, he's like chop chop. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Your first Fran? All right. I feel like I need to come to you. So I'm just going to feel into you, feel into your energy. So I'm just waiting for an impression. Do you have a male in spirit? Do not. No. Okay. So whoever will ask them to step back and step away. To you in the pink, do you have a son in spirit? Okay. Is he like a late teen, young adult? Young adult. Young adult? Could he be, sorry, it may be hers that, that's coming forward. Um, could he be a really persistent person? Yeah, like allow, like I want, I hear, um, oh God, family guy, mom, 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 mom. <laughs> like just trying to bust through. But it feels like adds to pain sometimes when you get a good sign or you get something and you notice you're like oh like I know that he's there but it, it almost like it kind of hits you um so he's so he's hitting with the pendulum he's like I don't know if he swears but I hear swear words in my head I don't feel like I should say them but it's like you gotta believe you gotta believe you gotta let me in you gotta let me in you gotta let me in you gotta believe <laughs> he's like I forced you to come here today you were forced here, and you just, you, I don't know if you weren't going to come, but you're like, oh, I don't know, and it's like just this shoving energy, because <sighs> you need to know he's okay, period. You wonder, you fret, you worry, and he's like, I'm right here, and he just got right, I'm getting covered in goosebumps, he got right in front of your face, he's like, mom, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here, I'm right here. He shows me you saw like movement out of the corner of your eye, and you're like, what the heck was that? I'm sitting on the couch, I'm watching TV, and I see movement, and you're like, is that go on? He's like, oh my God, yes, it's me, I'm right here, I'm right here. Did he have a sudden passing? Yeah, unexpected, right? Yeah, okay. I just feel like I'm ripped out, I don't know what that means, but I'm just, it seems like I'm just gone, but I'm trying to get across to you, this him, trying to get across, he's not gone, he's not gone, he's not gone. You are really good about blocking him. So with this pendulum and you're sitting there, you're like, it's not working, it's not working, I'm frustrated, it's not working. He's like, you have to let me in, you have to. There's nothing you could have done. You're not responsible in any way. Pardon my language, I hear cut that shit out. I feel responsible. He feels responsible. Not you. So quit beating yourself up. Not you. Mm -hmm. Was he into substances, your son? Yeah. Did he overdose? Or is he responsible for his passing? He had a drinking problem. Okay. And um, he's responsible. That wasn't what caused the accident. Okay. But he was in a car accident. I still feel like I'm responsible. He's responsible. You're always trying to fix him, aren't you? Yeah, you're like mom and him and mom and him and mom and him. And he loves you and he appreciates that, even though he didn't appreciate it while he was here, but he appreciates it. You need to know he's okay. It's okay. Like there's so much worry and concern, like, oh my gosh, what is he at peace? Is he okay? And he's like, I. 
I'm like, I want to stand in front of you and say, I assure you, I'm right here, I'm okay. He's like, now you get that pendulum back out and you let me talk. Yeah. You better make it work, because I'm telling you. Like, you just, yeah, absolutely. Do you connect the frogs with them? Okay, like, a, I see a bumper sticker, um, but it looks like frog. I don't think it's a turtle, I think it's a frog. So even if you're not connecting with that, you keep your eyes open and you watch for that to show up. And frog can stand for forever rely on God. So watch for that. Okay? Now you're gonna feel him. Watch, like watch. I wanna watch him you and he'd be like, oh, this is what I'm feeling. Yeah, he moves stuff on you too. Yeah, right? Yeah. What? Like, would you quit messing with my stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Is it your keys? Do your keys keep um, disappearing? Um, yeah, at times, like, my keys disappear. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. you ask him where my credit card went? <laughs> 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 that's, that's funny, but it's not funny. Is this your credit card? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm like, so where is that? <laughs> Have you checked in your car? Like, down on the side in your car? No. Okay. Check that. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you used it, but it like slipped or, okay. or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like I got you back. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, is he real tall? Okay. <laughs> He's like, Christine, you see my mom over there. You need to go talk to her. I'm just, I'm going to keep petting you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'll come to you in the balloon. What's your first name? Sharon. Sharon. All right. Have you been working a lot and learning how to connect and open up? Yeah, you're like, I start you like a pro at it now. Like you're really, I don't know if you do the automatic writing, but I'm getting kudos for you for really, really, it's really working for you. Is this a daughter? No, you have a son. Okay. Is he also real tall with dark hair? Very no. Six, six. Oh, okay. Is he like built? Yes. Yes. Like a football player or something yes. built? Yeah, what's his first name? Zachariah. Zachariah. Does he go by Zach? Yes. Yes, he does. Oh, he's a mama's boy, isn't he? Yes, he yes, is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> While you're a regular the pendulum, I get the feeling like you were getting pet. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So he um, says he is your guardian angel. And when he says that, I get that sense that you say you're my guardian angel, and he absolutely is. Oh my gosh, he's funny, isn't he? He has a good sense of humor. Yes. So he showed, <laughs> this always sounds so crazy, but whatever, it's the pictures that I get. He, he literally showed me when I say he's a guardian angel, like he's being really silly on the clouds, like with a heart, yes. like he's like in a, yes. like a cherub. Um, it's the picture that I see in my head. And that's why I feel like he's like a really funny kind of person. Um, and then he's also saying music. So I'm like changing the station. So when I hear that, it seems like um, sending songs or sending music to you. He is your world and he knows it. Yeah, right? He is your world. Did you get a tattoo or are you thinking of getting a tattoo? I did. You did get a tattoo. You're brave, huh? Mm -hmm. It has his ashes in it. <laughs> oh, it, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, do you connect with the infinity sign with him? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, perfect. Does it, is that the tattoo? Is it no. infinity? No, okay. All right, because it is infinite. It just keeps going and going. You guys keep incarnating together over and over and over and over again. You're normally the teacher and he's normally the student in your incarnations and he said this one's flipped. You're learning from him now. Yes, I am. Yeah, absolutely. So he shows me a path in front of you. It's like a stepping stone and it gets split up and then you take a step and it gets split up. And what that means to me is a lot of times and I don't think it's a literal stepping stone that lights up, but it, we want to know our entire path in front of us, and we only ever get to see the next step, but you see enough of the path that you're still willing to move forward. Yeah, he's your greatest teacher. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a necklace or something also that you wear with yeah. him? Yes. Yeah, okay. So he just shows me like you kissing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's so proud of you. So proud of you. You're just, you're doing it, Mom. You're doing it. Yeah. He sits next to you. He likes to just, like, 
put his arm around you and just sit next to you a lot. All right, so is that the, anything else he wants to say? He loves you. To the moon and back. Yeah. Absolutely. Does he see? Does he see about you or about something else? Does he see what's happening? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Current. yeah, current things that are happening. Yes. So hold on. Is there a big change in your life taking place? Yes. Yeah. Is this like an ending of some sort? Yes. Yes. He um, has your back. He's supporting you. Yes. Is this like a relationship or something that's ending? Yeah. Okay. You need to do this. You need to do this. You have his full support. Thank you. Yeah. It's like freedom. Then he shows me, and again, and he's funny. He shows me in brave heart, like when you get that freedom, and he like yells freedom <laughs> for you. Yeah. You're doing exactly what you should be doing. Okay. It's hard, but there's a lot of happiness that comes from it. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. So I'm just waiting for an impression. Do you have a son as well? Yeah. Okay. Is he a real smarty pants? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is, isn't he? <laughs> I was going to use another word, but I'm trying to use my 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 better vocabulary. <laughs> Man, I feel like he's super playful. Is he an athlete? Is he athletic? No. No? Okay. What's his first name? Cole. Cole. Is he a computer dude? No. No. Interesting. Could that be somebody else over here, the athletic, but also computers? He looks like he's 22, 23. Short hair, short hair, dark, but it looks like it kind of has a, I'm going to call it a mop top, like kind of curly on top. Maybe. Is that him? He's 20. He's 23. Yeah, okay. Like he has dark hair. Okay. Wavy. Yeah. Wavy. Okay. All right. Thanks. I use his name to connect in better with him. Does he like to drive or drive past? Not always, but that's how his accident. Okay. That's how his accident happened. Okay. Did he not always, uh, how do I want to say this? Um, did he not always move towards his potential? Was he, um, I don't know how to say this. I'm trying to come up with some words. Like I feel like he could be really smart, but he didn't necessarily push himself so much. Yeah, right? Okay, like, apply himself, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Didn't always apply himself. I feel like he's too smart for his own good. Yeah. Like, I, like, he's just kind of skating by because he was so smart and wasn't applying himself as well, okay? Were you always trying to push him, though? Somewhat, yes. Yeah, because yeah. you could see it's like, you gotta kind of get moving forward and um, wasn't um, as willing to do that. Okay, um, and do you also have a large dog in spirit? Yes. Is it a large black dog or? Yeah, okay. It reminds me of like a lab or something along those lines. Husky. A husky, okay. Yeah, I feel like he has, is it a him? I feel like he has him with him, yeah. Okay. Do you have a, did you get a tattoo also? You don't have a tattoo here, do you? You have one right here, okay. <laughs> and is that for him? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He knows how proud you are of him. I feel like you say it all the time, like, I hope you know I'm proud of you. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's so I hear um, the TV and it seems like it's on really loud, so I don't know what this means. Um, are you guys like sport? You're not sports people, or are you sports people? Yeah, my husband and my other son are big. Okay, sports. okay. They sit there with a lot of TV, kind of loud, watching. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see the big screen. I hear lots of noise. Um, <laughs> so they need to know that he sits there with them. 
is present. Okay? I don't say like drink beer and leave or or what? <laughs> like that's the thing. Like he's he's yeah, he's right there too. His brother for his brother, um, music. Sending music. He, he I feel like what words Cole, what words do you want me to use? If he just pushed, I know, he's like pot calling the kettle black. If he just like pushes just a little bit, like he gets over a hump. Is he in school? Yeah. He is in school. Is he almost done with school? Yeah. Okay. Is he going to go into school after this? No. Not that you know Not of right, right now. now. Yeah. Okay. So there will be more schooling after? Could be, but that would be okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm telling you, Cole was saying that he's <laughs> yeah. schooling after. I don't know if it's another two years. Um, but it's like things are things are smooth. Things are smooth. Um, but he needs to know his brother has his back all the way. Like he's always there. He's always there. Yeah, okay. Um, and then he's saying dreams with you. I don't know if you're asking for dreams, like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Not really. Do, would you get one or two? I have to have one or two. Yes. One or two, yes. yeah. Yes. So okay. it's like, mm, it's on the menu, like, come on. Yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it's coming. I know that everybody wants a dream every day, every night. I understand that. Um, but for you, I feel like there's another significant um, thing that happens, but I don't feel like significant bad, but it's significant. Um, like a hurdle for you to get over, and then the next one comes. The next dream comes. Let me be really clear on what I mean. The next dream comes. So for you, he wants you to sit down. He likes the pendulum. That's lots of fun for him. But he wants you to continue to dig in more and really get yourself open. This kind of work is for you. So I don't know if you do message work, but this work is for you too. James <laughs> just said chop chop. <laughs> chop chop, he's bushy, isn't he? <laughs> I've been working hard. What's that? I thought I've been working pretty hard. <laughs> so you're doing a good job hearing, but I feel like you have to take the next step and start working with other people or giving messages um, to other people, practicing with other people. So like the next step in expanding yourself. Okay. okay. Also energy work. You need some energy work. You gotta move some of that heaviness, stuck energy out. He just like showed me like, sounds weird, milking you, like pulling out <laughs> some energy. But even something as simple as Reiki or cranial sacral therapy would be good for you, just to continue to clear out some of this heaviness, so you can hold more light and you can support more people. Yeah. Okay. He loves you. He said he loves you like no tomorrow. I've never heard that ever in a message, but he just kissed you on the cheek, and that's what he said. Okay. All right, I feel like, um, I feel like one more. Okay, all right, I'm gonna come back to you, Fran. <laughs> I appreciate your patience. <laughs> I don't wanna leave you um, out in the breeze. Okay, so uh, ask your daughter to come in. Do you two have a real playful relationship with each other? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Does she have light colored hair? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like blonde or, yeah, yes. okay. And is she a young adult as well? Yes. Yeah, okay. Does she wear her hair long? Yes. Like a long ponytail is what it looks like? Mm-hmm. Okay, it's straight, her hair is straight? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, what's her name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, all right, does she go by Liz? Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. And are you mom? Uh-huh. She's just like, ooh. Hold you guys together. She's oh, funny, Daddy. I don't know if that's what she called you, but that's the word that I hear in my head. So hold on. She's so proud of you. I feel like this out of, I don't know if it's out of your box to be here, but she's proud of you for being willing to come. <laughs> no, it's it's not out of my box. Okay. So. Okay. Was it out of your box before? Um, so when she passed, was this out of your box? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Do you do volunteering type work? No. Okay. Is that something you've been considering? No, I don't think so. Okay. 
All right, so <laughs> I feel this volunteer work or energy around you. Okay. When it shows up, I feel like, um, how do you want me to say this? <laughs> Funny, she's like, just say it. Okay. Um, when the opportunity shows up, you're going to know, but it's something that like helps feed you. Okay. I don't know, do you go to church here? No. Okay. I feel like it might have to do around church or something along those lines. I don't know what your story is, but um, it's necessary. I don't use that word a lot. It's necessary for you to continue to, like, to give, mm -hmm. to give back. Um, not that I don't feel like you're not grateful or anything like that. I just feel like it's like service oriented, something that's service oriented that'll help, that helps feed you. Okay. Okay. Was she sick? Uh, she had a, a chronic condition. Okay. Okay. I like you, sister. Was she in school? No. Okay. Did she want a family? Do you know? I don't know. Depended on the day. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, so I have the sense from her that she works with little kids. So, obviously... On the other side, it works with little kids. She didn't have cancer, did she, your daughter? No. Okay. I feel like she works with little kiddos that are going to be sick here on Earth. So before they come here, she's there. She's supporting them before they get here. Do you have a diary of hers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mom's like, yeah, oh, I do. I have it. Poet. She likes to write a lot or share her, or express herself. Yeah. yeah. She artistic, artistic, not artistic, artistic. With writing, yes. Yeah. Okay. Was she responsible for her transition? No. Okay. Mom, she's gonna stand behind you for a second. So she has her face, and she's like making you look forward, like. Continue looking up, continue looking ahead. I feel like I can't, looking back isn't so good for you. You have to continue looking ahead. It's like keep your chin up, keep your chin up, keep your chin up. Um, she showed me, she's, I hear dragonflies. Dragonfly. Like blue, blue dragonfly. So if you, all I know is when they give it to me, I have to give it to you. And you might walk outside and be like, mm, you yep. know, one might be <laughs> You never know. Okay. And does she like music? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's an easy way for her to connect with you. Music. Um, I don't know which, who is this for? Come on. Meditation, meditate, meditate, meditate. Do you do guided meditations? I do. Okay. But you have to stick, stick with it. Mm -hmm. Stick with it. Um, so she's telling me to meet her on the other side in meditation. And there's a bench and like a garden mm -hmm. for you to go to for you to sit down and talk with her. Mm -hmm. That's at, this actually communicating with her. So I don't know if you already go there, but she's saying like meet her in the garden. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Yellow roses. She's showing me yellow roses or yellow flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me know what that means. Hold on. Let me see what that means. So she just puts your hands together and she like, like a, um, <coughs> uh, like a Celtic fasting, hand fasting, have you ever heard of that? Where it's like a, almost like tying souls together. Okay. She just showed me like this um, hand fasting are, are like tied together, like you like mm -hmm. tied together. Okay. What is that? Keep going. I love them forever. And she said, I love them eternally. <clears throat> I'll give them another thought, though. Who's getting the dreams? Are you getting the dreams? I've had a few dreams, but not any recently. Okay. Okay. And what about you? I had one dream. Okay. One dream. <laughs> You're Actually, two and dreams, I guess. Yeah. You've had, you both had two dreams? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a change for you in September. Um, I don't I don't know if it's work related, but I feel like there's a change and I just feel I don't know, I see you retiring. 
It feels like there's a retirement or a job change. Um, and I feel like it just feels like it takes off a bunch of pressure, a bunch of stress. And then, I don't know, there's like a big, it's a big shift that can take place. Are you guys looking to move? <laughs> I like, live, live here and in Philadelphia. Okay. Are you wanting to be here more? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you'll be here the majority of the time. So, allow it. Sad. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed right, a left brain. I need to understand how all the pieces fit together um, before like, I'll jump into something. But she's trying to get you to, to work that manifesting, like have the idea and not need to know every single piece, how everything's going to work out, and really learning to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Because that's where the magic comes in. Right. So make an idea, but don't fill in all the pieces. Let that spirit's job. Mm -hmm. Okay? Do you understand okay. that? I do understand. Right. Were you super left brained and now you're kind of learning? Oh, no, I am you super. You still are. <laughs> uh, but uh, that uh, going with the flow has been more of a thing okay. uh, in the past three years. Okay. Well, yeah. a couple of years. Yeah, because we're usually trying to control everything that's going on in our lives, and at some point we have to step into surrender mm -hmm. and flow with what is and allowing life to move us in the places that we want to be and that we need to be moved to, maybe not necessarily how we want to be moved, but move us where our souls need to go. Right. So it's like you kind of have to take your hands off sometimes and... Let her, let her take you where you need to go, because I think she's pretty much the one who's uh, moving you guys along. So, and then she's just showing me a necklace. I feel like this has to do with mom. We have a necklace for her. Yeah. Do you have a thumbprint? We do. You do have a thumbprint. Okay. Did you make it into something like a keychain or? No, our son is having a tattoo of it. He's having a tattoo of it. Okay, perfect. She loves that. Yeah, she's like, you know, anytime you want to chat, I'm here. She likes bending over to you, by the way. Were you having trouble with it? I was having trouble, but I, I feel like I need to practice more with it. Okay, and maybe um, in a little quieter space yep. without all the people <clears throat> around you. That might yep. be super helpful to you. So, okay, all right. All right, I feel the spirit kind of went, oh. Uh, so, uh, thank you and all of your kiddos for letting me tap in and, and see what messages I had for you. And thank you for just being open and receptive um, to what your kids have to say, because this is your spiritual journey. This is um, where you're supposed to be, even if we don't want that to be the case. And I particularly feel like parents that are open to spirit communication, connecting with their kiddos, your kids don't want you to just stop at the bottom floor. They want you to take it all the way to where you can get open and you can hear them and you have this partnership. I think of the, I don't know if it's a Van Gogh or Da Vinci um, painting of the hand of God where it's like reaching across and I feel like they're on the other side of the veil and we're here and we're, you're reaching and they want you to keep reaching and they want you to get open so you can have those conversations with them and the missing is less because you can go to the store and you're gonna make a joke and you can hear them laugh in your head and I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm kind of losing my mind, but I'm not because it's my kiddo and, and that's that's how it works with spirit. So, those of you with helping parents feel, those of you that are drawn here, your kids want you to go as far as you can in your spiritual growth, in your spiritual journey, um, alongside them with that reaching across the veil to bring light here and to help you evolve as far as you possibly can in this earthly journey. So again, congratulate yourselves for being here and for being willing and um, keep having those conversations with your kiddos in your head because they hear you and you can get to the point where you hear them. So thank you very much.